So what brought me to Washington in this talk? That this morning in the uh, Rayburn office building, which you should know was uh, somewhat of a um, reunion for me. In 1975, I was the first kosher intern, congressional intern, really, in Washington, D.C. That's before the Metro. I lived at uh, Georgetown. Remember the transportation was called Guts. Mm -hmm. Georgetown University Transportation oh. Society. <laughs> no one had forewarned me about Washington summers. I was working for then Congressman Ed Koch. This is last year. Okay. And, uh, you know, as an Orthodox Jew, a man doesn't live by a tune official note. And so, by the, probably after the first week, I called my parents and I said, you know, we got to work out something here. So, I'm just going to put them off tuna fish and salad all day. So, there was a very famous kosher restaurant up in New York called New Seagulls. It was on 38th and Summer. That was like the premier kosher restaurant in New York back then. And they sent down all these frozen TV dinners, kosher TV dinners, which was being warmed up in the Jesuit University. But then the question was where do you store them? So, um, Congressman Koch and Bella Absent and Congressman Seller. I mean, it was a remarkable consortium that came together to store in their freezers <laughs> all these kosher dinners. And uh, it wasn't political. I forgot the name of the paper back then. They did the whole story mm -hmm. on the kosher congressional intern. So when I went into Rayburn today, I said, oh, and does that bring back the memories? <laughs> 1975. So uh, it was nice to be there. But anyway, so this morning, we did a uh, small event honoring the Republic of Azerbaijan uh, for its unique commitment and support of Israel. There are 57 Muslim nations in the world. Mm. And I would state unequivocally that when it comes to supporting Israel, Azerbaijan is numero uno, number one. And what we also discovered, you know, as, as there's this plethora of Israel Sunday celebrations around the world, this was probably the only event that celebrated Israel from a Jewish, Christian, and Muslim perspective. Uh, the Christian side that I hosted this with two of my dear friends and colleagues from the Christian Evangelical Pro-Israel Community, uh, Bishop Robert Stearns, who heads up Eagle's Wings, and also Pastor Bob Roberts from Dallas. He's the one with Imam Majid at the Adams Center that is leading the whole effort in terms of developing um, relations between Evangelical Christians and Muslims. I mean, he, said this morning, he said, you know, at the end of the day, Christian evangelicals do not like Muslims, and we have to do something about it. So it was somewhat remarkable that not only at this Azari event, but that today the state of Israel is used as a vehicle or a conduit bringing Christian evangelicals and Muslims together. And Azerbaijan is like the, you know, the perfect country for that, because um, in my own dealings with President Aliyev, the President of Azerbaijan, and his foreign minister, we've had two events in New York um, back in September when President Aliyev was about to address the UN General Assembly. So beforehand, he wanted to meet with 20 Christian evangelical pastors. Um, and these 20 evangelical pastors could not believe that in the Muslim world such a country existed in terms of its support for Israel. So it's interesting that I was speaking with someone um, at breakfast this morning how Israel, it's, it, it's an irony and this will tie into the Gulf, has become a vehicle to for countries that want to come closer to the United States. If you look at the Gulf today, everyone's trying to out Israel the other. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, MBS, the Crown Prince, Saudi Arabia, in his uh, very um, uh, 
you know, wonderful interview that spoke about how uh, Jewish people have a right to a state. And then two days later, the former Prime Minister of Qatar, Alfani, says the same thing. You know, everyone's far new. Out Israel. Um, and um, whoever thought that, you know, Israel would be in that position today. So that's what we did this morning. Uh, we chose the eve of the 70th anniversary to call attention to what a quite a significant Muslim country uh, that lives in a very rough neighborhood. Iran's to its south, Russia's to its west. Uh, what it's doing for Israel. And I think that uh, lends some real color you know, to the event and to the Sunday family.